In this video, I'm at the University of Queensland and I'm trying to find out what kind of student would be ideally suited to studying at this institution. But I've got a problem because this is a huge unit and there is so much information on this place. So how am I gonna find out who's best suited to studying here? And you know what? If we get this decision wrong, if we choose the wrong university, it's literally gonna cost years of our lives and tens of thousands of dollars. So it's a super important decision. Let's go and walk around the University of Queensland and talk about what makes this place tick to decide whether or not this is the university for you to study at. How good is this? Yeah, it's awesome. Well, what's new at UQ since the last time I've been here? Probably the biggest thing that I've discovered is right behind me here, and this is called Student Central. This is a new initiative of the university to centralise many of the different student-facing services. So things that you need to get done when you're a student here at UQ. Everything from enrolment to counselling support and other sorts of administrative. And I love universities that take this approach because from your point of view as a student here, it's so much easier than having to run across campus to go and see different areas. Coming to Student Central is your first stop to getting anything done. Even if you're a prospective student and you want to know a little bit more about the university, Student Central is a good place to come and get that initial information and get pointed in the direction of more detailed information. So thumbs up to the uni in terms of thinking about the student experience here, I love that. One of the other big changes for the university since my last video here has been a change in the senior leadership. In fact, both the Chancellor and the Vice-Chancellor have changed here at UQ. The Chancellor here is now a chap called Peter Varghese, who was the head of the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade for the Australian Government, so a very senior bureaucrat and somebody who knows education very well. He's actually a UQ graduate, so somebody that's been attached to the university for a very long time and an awesome diplomat. So having that kind of quality of leadership is really excellent. Even better than that, in my opinion, is that UQ picked up a new vice chancellor. Her name is Deborah Terry. And Deborah Terry came from Curtin University in Western Australia. Um, and prior to that, I think she was actually here at UQ. But her time at, at Curtin was really fantastic in my view. I think she made enormous changes to that institution that were overall very, very positive and took the university to new highs. So I'm really excited to see the direction that Deborah Terry takes UQ in. There's a new strategic plan coming out next year in 2022. The current strategic plan from Peter Hoy, the previous vice chancellor, who also did a fantastic job in my opinion, ends in 2021. So, new strategy, updated direction for UQ. I think it's an exciting time to be here. First thing I can tell you about the University of Queensland is that it's a very old and prestigious university. That's not very hard to find out. What's really interesting about it though is that it's one of the group of eight universities which are the most prestigious universities in Australia. If you're interested in going on and doing research as part of your undergraduate, postgraduate, doctorate or postdoctorate program, this is also one of the best universities in the country for you. It typically ranks in the top 50 universities in the entire world. I'm gonna talk more about rankings a little bit later, but prestige, great academic quality, this could be the university for you. Now, the other thing to remember is that it's a huge university, 55,000 students. 19,000 of those are postgraduate, the rest, uh, 36,000 are undergraduate students, more or less and then it's got a very good doctoral program as well. It's actually graduated more doctoral students than any other university in Australia. I'm here on a wet day, but Brisbane normally gets 300 days of sunshine every year, so goodness knows how I managed to choose the one, one wet day when it was actually raining. But normally this place is absolutely pumping full of students. I'll drop in a little bit of footage of the last visit that I had here. And that means that it's a campus that's really vibrant. There's always lots going on, tons of clubs and societies, and lots and lots of people. So if you love that kind of vibe, and vibrancy of having heaps of students around, lots of opportunities to get involved in different activities, UQ could definitely suit you. This is the student union area where you've got tons of different eateries. There's other ones, a food court elsewhere on campus as well called Fizz. And one of those things that makes a difference to universities is having these on-campus eating and hangout kind of spaces, and UQ does a really great job of that. And so if you're hoping to like live near the university, plenty of different accommodation options. St Lucia is full of apartment buildings, there's the student res itself, and then you can walk across a bridge into West End, which is just about half a K that way. So it's got plenty of access to other vibrant areas of Brisbane, and even the city itself isn't that far away. So if you want an institution where you're outside the city centre, but it's got a very unique student feel, but still very accessible to the city, UQ certainly has got a lot to offer 
Well, something that I've learned through a couple of meetings that I've been having here on campus is that UQ is quite unique in the way that it has these different sort of almost peripheral extracurricular units sitting very closely together under one common leadership. So the career service, the student exchange unit, internships, scholarships, work integrated learning programs, all of those are run inside a common unit. Just to be clear, a unit is a, an administrative um, section of a university. And the thing I love about that structure is that by having those people sitting very closely together allows them to communicate more closely, which means that putting the student experience and the opportunity for students to get involved in those activities very closely together. And I really encourage you to check out all of these different things for UQ. And I'll drop some links down in the description below so that you can access some of these extracurricular opportunities, which is really, in my view, what defines a student that's just come out of uni with a degree and a real top graduate. Do -do -do. It's a beautiful sunny day. <laughs> oh no, it's not, unfortunately it's raining. <laughs> I'm not tricking you. <laughs> Sport is really important here at UQ. They've had no fewer than 100 athletes who've made it to the Olympic Games, including multiple gold medal winners. And so if you're into elite sports or sport in general, UQ has got some pretty amazing facilities here. I've got to say between UQ here in Brisbane and University of the Sunshine Coast, just a little way up the coast here, sportsmen and women, you've got plenty of choice. And in fact, a difficult choice between institutions. But yeah, definitely amazing facilities here at UQ. You could use them today. Here's something that I wasn't expecting. Often these big prestigious universities, they kind of rest on their laurels and they know that they've got big reputations and therefore they can attract lots of students. But something that I've noticed walking around UQ, and this was already kind of the, the case when I was here last time, but it's even more obvious now, this time, is everywhere you see, you've got this kind of UQ purple color going on on all the signage and all the branding. And it's very clear that the university is making an effort to try and make it so people feel like they're a part of something. There's a UQ shop over there where you can buy t-shirts and all sorts of other merch. And as you go around, staff are wearing that color. It really makes you feel like you're part of a tribe. And I think that's really attractive for many types of students. We wanna feel like we're part of something that's bigger than us. And UQ has done a really great job of sort of creating that sensation. Everywhere you look around the campus, you've got UQ purple. So, unless you've really got something against purple, <laughs> in which case maybe this is not the university for you, it's got a really lovely tribe feel, and that's a very good thing.